Okay, this uh, short video will show you how to uh, overlay a plot on a pH diagram using EES. Uh, I have manually input values of pressure and enthalpy here. Your program will be calculating them. Uh, notice that uh, I wrote the variable names using uh, arrays, and array is just a variable name with a number after it. And notice that the numbers are in uh, inside of brackets here. All right, first thing is uh, make sure you set your units to the, uh, in this case, I'm using the English system. And uh, you would, so you would run your program, then you would go to uh, plots and select property plot. And we're going to select water. And we want a pH diagram. And then you just hit OK. And there you go. It came up. Now, uh, what you want to do is go back uh, to your program. And now you hit, uh, you probably can't see it, but up here on the toolbar, there are various icons. And there's one that says Arrays Table. So you click on that one. Uh, as soon as you mouse over it, you'll see the title come up. And when you hit Arrays Table, you'll see that all of your points have come up. P1, P2, P3, P4, and all the H values as well. So now you go to Plots. And you go to Overlay a Plot. And now you have to... Uh, just be careful here. Uh, go to tables, and instead of parametric table, it's going to use an array table as its source. So on the x-axis we want the uh, enthalpy, and on the y-axis we want the pressure. And let's pick a color that we can see here. Uh, OK. And it's going to be a dashed line connecting them. You hit OK. And there it is. You can see it put in these uh, four points, crazy looking points, okay, don't expect something like that. Now we just, uh, I forgot, you need to connect these two points. So what you do then is you just go back and you make a fifth point that's the same as the first one. So we go P5 is equal to say P1 and then it'll close them up P, oops, and I'll say H5 is equal to H1. Okay, and uh, then you, I guess you just rerun it, and then there's five, go up to, uh, uh, now we go to uh, overlay plot, no, let's do an erase, we already have that, so just do plots, overlay plot, the same thing, next P, and hit OK, and there we go, you can see that it closed up the diagram. Okay, that should do it. Thank you for watching.